my name is Chris Brown, I'm with Vitality. Today we're going to be unboxing the V-Mobile smartphone. Next we'll go over some uh, configurations with the PBX, show you how to integrate that, change your numbers, all that type of stuff. But first we'll get into opening the box. You get this in the mail. When you open it up you get a, uh, a quick start guide, remote battery charger on the go, your wall charger, and battery, smartphone. You need to put the battery inside the smartphone. Your V-Mobile number is also in the box, and which we'll go over how to change that as well. Um, I'm going to put this in, and we'll go over the configurations. All right, so we logged in at portal.vitality.net, and we're going to configure our V-Mobile phone now. On the left side of the page, you'll see the V-Mobile link. We will click on that, and then click on My Devices. Here, this brings up all your V-Mobile devices. Currently, looking at this, I can see that this device is independently routing. It's not using a PBX at all, it's just going through our network. However, I want to change that and I do want it to go through my PBX. So I'm going to go to the action drop down list, which shows a couple different options. This is actually where you can change your primary number for your vMobile device. Um, but here I'm going to choose route to PBX, brings up this page. On this page, you have the PBX technology of the type of system that you can route it to. Uh, you have asterisk, free PBX, PBX and flash, elastics, etc. Free switch, broadsoft, and other. Uh, expect to see more options available here. Just make sure you choose the most appropriate one for your system. Password we're going to need to create. Um, so let me see. Just create a random password here. Need to put in the IP address of the PBX that we wish to route to. And then hit submit. After we do that, we want to go back to the Actions page and view SIP Account. Viewing SIP Account is going to show us all the information that we need to know regarding configuring the vMobile device on your PBX. So the first thing I wanted to do is grab the username and log into the PBX. So we're logged into the PBX over here in this tab. We went to Applications, Extensions, and we're going to create a new SIP device. User extension is going to be the telephone number, that's primary. Display name can be whatever you like, but for simplicity I'm putting the, the telephone number again. Same thing with outbound CID. This can either follow the rules of your trunk, or you can set something here to override it uh, on the fly. Put in the inbound route. And go back over here and get the password from the vMobile site. We could have taken this password and created the vMobile account if we liked. Whatever the case, this password secret section needs to match the password that you have on the site. The next part is the host. This is extremely important. This is how your system understands how to communicate with the device. It knows where to, where to locate the actual vMobile device. If we scroll down here, we'll see host. Need to, define, need to define that. So we're pretty much done. All we gotta do is either decide if we're gonna turn voicemail on or off. In this case, I am, so. And submit. Apply configs. And this is ready to go. Um, now, one thing that's important on here is when you're doing transfers uh, from the phone, um, that needs to be activated on the PBX, which by default it is. You dial pound pound and then you'll get um, the default greeting for transfer and then dial tone. Um, but that needs to be activated on the PBX. And one of the limitations with V-Mobile is that you have to dial with four digits at least. Um, you can't dial below four digits and get it to your phone system. So if you have extensions that are only three digits like 201, 202, 203, etc. You're not going to be able to reach those extensions dialing them directly from the vMobile phone unless you make a a, a um, custom example to like add like 0201, 0202, 0203. It needs to be four digits at least. I think it's like four to 15 digits that you can actually send. If it's under four digits, it's not going to make it to your phone system. So just keep that in mind.
Okay, that concludes our VMobile PBX integration video. Stand by, we got a bunch of new videos coming through and a bunch of new features uh, and services that are going to be released to the public. A lot of stuff in the labs we're working on right now. But if you have any questions, need any assistance, need anything, just open a ticket. We're more than happy to help you. Uh, give me a call, I'll be more than happy to help you too. So um, thanks and enjoy your time. I'm going to take this. This is Chris, how can I help you?